Hey guys, welcome back to my series, Going Remote. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to easily schedule calls online. One of the most inefficient things ever is those emails that you have to send back and forth when you're trying to figure out a good time for both of you to meet. Well, the tool today gets around this problem entirely and automates it for you. So the tool is called Acuity and I'm going to walk you through step-by-step step exactly how to set this up. So set this up and you will now have a link that you can share with others and they will be able to automatically book in your calendar. So this is fantastic, it gets rid of all those annoying emails and it also takes care of any time zone issues that might happen. I mean, since we're working remotely, we're working with people from all over the world, so we do need a way of handling that issue. All right, so let's dive into the tutorial. So the website is acuityscheduling.com and as you can see, there is a free plan, so that's great. I'm gonna click free sign up. Then I'm going to type in my email and my password. Agree to the terms of service and then click create my account. Okay, great. So they will ask you a few questions. What days do you typically accept appointments? So I'm gonna say Mondays to Fridays and what time are you available? So I'm just gonna go with standard business hours. Okay, so fill those out and then click next. Then you need to select which calendar you're currently using beyond this. If you need to accept online payments, which you can do through the software. And if your clients are in different time zones, which I think is a huge benefit here. So I'm going to put yes and click next. Okay, awesome. Now I'm going to type in my name, name of my business and industry. So I'm going to go education and then click, okay, let's get started. Okay, so because we answered those questions, quite a bit of the setup is already done for us. So as you can see, it has set our availability. So we now can accept appointments from nine to five, Monday to Friday. If you want to change anything, simply click on the calendar and type in your change. So if I wanted to change this to 10 a.m., for example, I can go ahead and do that there, then click save regular hours. Okay, great. So what we're doing is we're following this checklist at the top, okay? So we have set our availability for calls. Next, you're going to click create appointment types. So what type of appointments are you going to accept in your business? So as you can see, they have a sample consultation here. We can actually just come in here and customize it. So I'm gonna click edit. And then I'm going to change the name. So let's say I want to do a free discovery call. I would simply come in here and change the name to free discovery call. Okay, that's one option. You could also do, you know, if you want to do a virtual coffee, you can do that. The list goes on. Okay, so any type of call that you need to do in your business, a meeting, anything goes. So let's say that I just wanna be able to give out a link anytime I need to chat with someone about something. So I'm gonna call this virtual coffee. Okay, and I'm going to say the duration is 60 minutes and there is no price here. So with Acuity, you can charge for appointments, which is great. So any type of client work that you're doing, you could charge for, but since I'm just wanting to book calls with this, I'm gonna set this to zero. Then you can choose a color. So I'm gonna go with a blue. You can choose to add a photo if you'd like and whether you want this to be public or private. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave this public and then click update appointment type. So I'd recommend actually changing this to private and then click update appointment type. Okay, great. So now let's say you want to give out that link. All you're going to do is click here where it says direct scheduling link and you're going to copy this. So that is the link that you're going to share with others. So now let's say I'm someone that wants to book in a call. I'm going to go to that link and this is what I will see. So as you can see, I know exactly what type of appointment I'm booking in. I can select my time zone, which it will do automatically. So it has picked mine up. And then that person is able to book in a time with you automatically. So let's say I wanna book in an appointment Wednesday at 10 a.m. I'm going to select that, then click continue. 
And then all I need to do is put in my first name, last name, and email, and click complete appointment. Awesome, so as you can see, it has been booked in. You're going to receive an email that someone has booked an appointment with you, and they are going to also receive a confirmation email and be able to add it to their calendar. So this is very, very convenient, and I think it's going to save you so much time. Okay, so let's go back into Acuity. So just so you know, you can add many different appointment types. You can simply click new type of service, and go through that process again. So now I'm going to click back. And as you can see, it opens up on appointment calendar and I can see right there any appointments that have been booked in with me. But again, you're also going to get an email as well. So this is what the person who books in the call will see. And then this is the email that you will receive. So as you can see, it'll let you know that an appointment has been scheduled and then below it'll let you know who it is and what their email is. So let's say that you do decide that you want to customize your scheduling page. I'm gonna open up and show you your options there. So currently it is displaying daily. If you wanna change it to monthly instead, you can do that. You can upload your logo, let's do that. Then you can add some instructions. You can determine what day the week starts on, your time format, and a few more settings. Um, this one, I would make sure that you check this so that clients are required to choose their time zone. Then you can change the font and you can customize the background and your button accent color. So I'm gonna go ahead and change my button accent color. If you have your brand hex code, you can go ahead and paste that in right here or you can simply choose from the wheel. Okay, so I grabbed my exact yellow. I'm gonna paste that in here, click choose, and then I'm going to save changes. So if I did upgrade it to a paid plan, then it would change the colors to highlight yellow. Okay, finally, one of the main things that you might want to do is sync with other calendars. So that definitely would be an option to upgrade to a paid plan as well or you can keep it simple and just do what I've shown you in today's video on the free plan. So of course, there's a lot more that you can do beyond this, but I just wanted to share an intro video with you to get started. So just make sure you go through all the different settings available here. Okay, so there's one more thing I wanted to show you in this video, and that's how to add your Zoom link for your meeting room to your emails automatically. So what you're going to do is click on availability, and then calendar settings, scroll down and you'll see location. So you can actually click add new location. And what you're going to do is you're going to copy your meeting room link from Zoom. So make sure that you check out my video all about how to use Zoom, but I'm just going to demo this quickly. I'm going to click on the arrow next to new meeting and then click copy invitation. I'm going to open this up and paste it in. As you can see, we get a link here for my personal meeting room. So I'm simply going to copy that, paste it into my location and click save. And then save changes. Okay, great. So now anytime someone books in an appointment with you, the location will be set as this link and then they can come and join you in Zoom. So this is the simplest way of doing it. Of course, there is a way to set it up where it creates a unique Zoom link for every meeting. So I'll have to do another video showing you how to do that. But this is just an intro tutorial of how to get started with Acuity. I hope this was helpful for you. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below. All right guys, so that is how to set up Acuity and how to use it to schedule all of your calls and online meetings. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please let me know by giving it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment below and don't forget to hit subscribe. I'm doing new videos every single day to help you work remotely and keep building your online business. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Woo!